Hi, uh, my name is Matt Stromer. This is my childhood dream speech. Uh, so uh, when you were growing up, did you want to be just like your dad? I certainly did. In my adolescence, uh, my dad played semi-pro softball and got to travel around playing on sponsored teams, including uh, Bush Beer. Uh, I have a sign right behind me, a uh, Cardinal logo over the Bush Beer sign. Uh, he was also sponsored by the St. Louis Blues and a bat brand called Real Steel. Uh, at first, I didn't really care about or understand the sport of baseball or softball, you know, for that matter. It was too complex, too many people running around, what the heck is a force out? I just wanted to play in the dirt or, or find other kids to run around with, right? I kind of was dragged to those by my mom. Uh, so I was the only child, so. Um, things kind of changed when I was when I turned five or so. Uh, I noticed my dad would stay up late watching uh, the Cardinals or whatever ball game was on uh, ESPN or, or the local stations at that, uh, that night. Uh, and then at some point my mom gave in and, and let me uh, stay up and watch with him, uh, but you know, not too, not too late because I had school. Uh, but you know, in the mornings uh, he would then drive me to school, and we would listen to KMOX on the way, uh, listen to the news, the weather, but most importantly, uh, the sports. You know, we'd we'd pull up to school early and just kind of hang out in his in his work van. I, I'd eat uh, little, some mini donuts or something like that before I went to school. But really, what we were doing was you know just chit chatting and waiting for. Uh, them to read off the out of town scores. Uh, that's what he was really. He wanted to keep up with standings. Um, I I did too. You know, just because I just wanted to be like him. Uh, and then I'd go off to school, and he'd go to uh, the nearest gas station and uh, and pick up a St. Louis Post Dispatch paper, and he would read the sports section first. Uh, and I kind of picked up on this. Uh, you know, you know, and he'd always done that, but I picked up on it. You know, when I you know, really started to learn how to read. <laughs> and uh, once I got home from school, I would read the sports section as well. Uh, there was just so much information at, at, at my fingertips at the time. You know, I was, this is pre-internet days. Uh, we're talking about like 1996, 97 or so. Uh, so like scouring the, the box scores or even reading like the recap of the game the, from the night before. I, I love that. I even got to the point where I would cut out the pictures and, and put them on my door of my room and stuff like that. Uh, later later on in that year, I, I really started playing. That's when I started playing. Uh, I signed up for, for T-ball. You know, some you kind of get preset on a team at that point, right? Um, and the following year, I moved to coach pitch. My dad actually became uh, my coach, and I was, I was super stoked for that. I worked really hard year-round as a, as a kid. Uh, just to get better, I love I love the sport at that point. I was I was fully immersed. Um, my dad would work during the day, sometimes long weekends. He'd go out of town for work. So as an early child, like an only child, like I mentioned earlier, I kind of had to get creative uh, in, in my practice. Right. So a couple of things were, you know, very very lonely. I'm sure you could picture this, just tossing the ball up to myself in the backyard, hitting it, and then running and get it getting it and then coming back and doing it over and over again. Um, I'd also throw tennis balls off the wall for fielding practice. Actually, I brought my, I still have my, one of my gloves. This is from, uh, I got this when I was, uh, shoot, probably 13 or so. Still fits. Uh, it's my infielder's glove. I have an outfielder's glove too, but it's in my car for, uh, for softball. Uh, and then, you know, I even got to the point where I taught myself how to, to switch hit. Um, and then as I got, as I got older, I started playing more select baseball. Again, my dad would run our teams. He would scout and from other teams and we'd put travel teams together and play in tournaments. We won a lot, quite a bit, um, creating memories that I'll, that I'll never forget. We still have the trophies, uh, and a lot of friendships that are, that have stood the test of time. Uh, once I hit high school though, this is kind of where things changed a little bit. Like in my playing days, I went from a private Catholic school of about a hundred kids to a high school of around 2,000 kids. So like, I was just like, I was out of my element there. My anxiety went through the roof and my confidence went into the cellar. I tried out for the freshman and, and sophomore years and, and, and failed to make both teams. Uh, my dad 
kind of blame politics. I'm not really sure what to believe. Uh, but I, you know, I think it was a combination of maybe a little bit of politics, not knowing anybody. Um, uh, and then also like just being like so nervous that I just kind of, you know, balled up and, uh, I wasn't myself. So at this point, I kind of knew my, my professional dreams were, were gone. <laughs> so, uh, but, but that's okay. Um, uh, you know, I kept playing recreationally through my early twenties, but then I transitioned to softball once I turned, uh, once I turned 23 or so, uh, I'm 30 now and I, I still play every week, but unfortunately, well, I guess I don't play every week right now. COVID canceled our, our season this summer, uh, but it's something that I still like to do. Uh, and in summary, while my dream to become a professional player, you know, like I mentioned, hasn't come true. What I really have learned the most from baseball and, and, and my dad, uh, you know, sharing this game with me is, is the competitive competitiveness and, and the mental aspect of, of trying to gain, you know, on, on your opponent, you really, cause you know, you, they could be faster than you or, you know, or whatever, but it, you know, if you're, if you're out thinking them or thinking quicker than they are, you know, you can really, it, it doesn't matter, you know, sometimes hard work beats talent. Uh, I, I even have, uh, I still watch and, and read and, and listen to so many baseball podcasts. I'm, I'm going to watch the uh, league championship series here tonight. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of I'm a huge Cardinals fan, as you can tell. As you can tell here, these are some of my visual aids. Uh, but uh, I, I kind of hope the Rays win and beat the Astros. They I don't like ch- cheaters, especially in, in baseball. Uh, but yeah, I, I still I, I still watch a lot. I even have friends that text me asking me of my opinion and stuff like that. Uh, on the game, and that's something that I hope to pass on to my children someday. Thanks.